you may have been familiar with light transitions like cover, gallery, or orbit. What about a more interesting transition effect named parallax? It happens when the different elements of a page move at different speeds, creating a 3D depth effect like scrolling effect. Let's learn how to add parallax transitions to your slide with Active Presenter. To save time and effort, first, add all the files and resources into the resources pane. Then drag and drop the first image onto the canvas. Next, pay attention to the canvas snapping on the view tab. You need to check the guides option so that the guidelines will appear on the canvas. Then create a total of four guidelines to match with the border of the canvas. This will assist you in aligning objects and defining positions later. Now extend the image size to overflow the borders. Then use the crop function to crop the two sides of the image. However, leave behind the extra bottom part as it will help the transition go smoother later. Now add a text box for the image. And then customize it with all the options in the properties panes here. It's time to add the second image. Pay attention that the top border of this second image has to match totally with the bottom border of the canvas. Then copy and paste the tick box to create many other tick boxes later. Now go to the timeline pane, press Ctrl on the keyboard and left click to choose many objects at the same time. Press Ctrl and G to group them. Now the key point to trigger this parallax transition is to use the motion path feature. Right click on the canvas to add another guideline. This guideline will mark the exact position where the end point of the motion path line has to stop. So how can we know where to place this guideline? First, move the group upward so that the second image will match perfectly with the canvas. Now define the center of this group. It is the green triangle here. The guideline must go past this center position of the group. So move the guide to this exact position. Then move the group of the second image to its original position. The green circle at the center of the group object is the starting point of the motion path line, while the second circle with the red triangle is the end point of this motion path line. Now, we need to drag this second circle to meet the guideline position where we have defined earlier. Remember to place it right in the center. Now you can see that the second image and the text boxes are moving at the same speed. The second image and its text appear while the first image text disappears. Now make the first image disappear but at a slower speed. Choose the second image, then choose the line motion path and the upward direction. Drag the end point of the line and drop it at the top border of the canvas. And then you will have a basic scrolling transition like this. In the timeline pane, feel free to change the duration and the starting point of the animation and the objects as you want. Now to create multiple slides transition, copy and paste the first slide. Delete and ungroup all the unnecessary objects and then repeat the steps. Finally, you will have a result like this. This transition is more interesting than the normal ones, right? 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch more videos for more helpful e-learning and editing tips. See you later!